Hey everybody, okay, so I have a little bit of a story to tell you concerning this look. Um, I was trying to record this look on my cellular device and uh, apparently uh, one day I had dropped my phone and like everything had come apart like the case and all that and I thought I grabbed everything and put it back together but um, I just took the case off my phone today and apparently the um, the battery on my phone, I mean the, the back of my phone, my actual phone is not on my phone. It's gone. I don't know what happened. I don't remember what happened after I dropped it. I thought I got everything and put everything back together, but apparently I didn't. So, um, <clears throat> my, I was recording this and got like half, I mean, pretty much almost done. Like, you just have to do like eyeliner, lashes, and all, you know, the finishing touches. And then it just cut off. Like, my phone completely cut off. And I was like, what is going on? So then I turned it back on. I was like, okay, maybe it died. Even though it didn't give me a warning, it just maybe it died. Turned it on and the battery was fine. So I was like, what is going on? So then I, um, so I keep looking left or right, whatever. I'm looking right. It probably, I'm looking left in the video. But um, because I am looking at myself in the mirror, just checking, making sure everything looks okay still. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, the, um, yeah, I turned my phone back on. I was like, okay, I'll just try this again. So I took off the makeup that I already done on this eye and tried again. And then my phone cut off again and I was like, oh my God. And then when I turned it back on, it was like the battery was really low. And I was like, what is going on? It was just like almost fully charged. I don't understand. So I don't know if I need a new phone, I need a new battery. What? I probably need a new battery. This battery's probably just like shot and just done. So, yeah, so I was just like, oh my god, so I was just like, no, I'm pulling out my laptop, screw trying to use my phone anymore, I'm just going to use my laptop and record on my laptop from now on, and, and then, like, it's just, I mean, this eye has just been through so much, and it still turned out decent, so, yeah, like, uh, oh my gosh, this, <laughs> this poor eye has had to have makeup applied to it, like, three times, and just wiped off and applied again and wiped off and applied again and wiped off and applied again so yeah I am going to just give my eye a rest and uh, just relax and enjoy the rainy earth day that we're having today um but enough of my rambling enough of my little backstory about how I almost killed my eyeball um <laughs> if you would like to know how to get this look then I suggest that you just keep on watching and I will be going in like another video or something so yeah bye hey everybody okay so first I'm going to <clears throat> sorry um put use my wet and wild idolized pencil in um it's called envy and I'm gonna place that all over my lid oh no look at that I've had to wipe I'm wiping off my eye and restarting my makeup so much that I'm getting like a little bump on my eyelid oh my god I'm gonna be more careful with my eyes but um I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid it'll be okay though it'll be okay. trust me I've done I'm surprised this hasn't happened before I've done like a bunch of makeup looks in one day because I've just been bored and like taking off makeup putting makeup on until my eyes are like red it's the first time I've gotten a little bump though Probably because I've been loving the outer portion of my eye. Okay, so anyway, sorry. Next, I'm gonna take the um, Wet n Wild Mega Last um, Eyeliner in Dark Brown, and I'm just going to draw out the shape of the eyeshadow of where I'm gonna place the eyeshadow. <gasps> Excuse me. Alright, now I'm going to take my idolized pencil in Pixie and apply that to my, well, underneath my um, eyebrow, my brow bone area. And then I'm going to blend that with my finger. Alright, so that's it for like kind of priming the eye. 
Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and the first color I'm going to take is this green right here. This color, this, this palette just kind of screams Earth Day to me. Uh, when, I, when I was thinking of doing an Earth Day look, I was going through my little thing and I was going to just use my e.l.f. palette, um, the 32 color one, but then I saw my Comfort Zone palette and I was like, oh my god, that's like perfect. It has all the, the greens and browns and like earth tone colors that I would need for an Earth Day look. So I was like, why use anything else? Just, uh. Okay, so next I'm going to take <clears throat> this darker green color right here and I'm going to apply that on the second half, overlapping the green we just placed. Oh, I'll put a little eye. Uh, hopefully that bump doesn't get any bigger and become like a really nasty sty or something. If you guys can see it, it's right there. You can kind of see it, and it doesn't hurt. It's just, just a little bump, just kind of annoying. Definitely just irritating my eye a little bit too much with taking off the makeup. Okay, now I'm going to take this brown color right here, and I'm going to, actually, and I'm going to place that on top of the dark brown that we put down as our guide and then kind of blend outward from there, upward. Okay. Next, we're going to take this kind of like pinky peachy color right here and we're going to apply that as our brow bone highlight. It's just a really pretty gorgeous color. Nice bit of shimmer to it. And then I'm going to take this light tan color right there at the top and apply that right underneath my um, arch of my eyebrow and then I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner as an inner corner highlight. There we go. Now that I have all that placed, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, green shimmer eyeliner pencil. I can't remember what the name of it is. It doesn't have the name on the pencil. I don't remember. It's like something green. Oh. I keep looking at the little bump. I'm sorry. Oh, and I'm, I'm taking that and I'm applying that on my bottom lash line. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to take a kind of like small flat brush like this, and I'm going to take um, the eyeshadows that I'm using on my eye and just go in the same order on the bottom lash line. So starting with that light green. Then moving on to the darker green. <laughs> and then on the edge, that brown color.
making ugly faces. <laughs> okay, then um, to darken the crease, I'm gonna take the same flat brush I've been using for my eyeshadow, and I'm taking this dark, kind of like brown, red color right here, and I'm gonna take that on the edge of my brush and just place that into my crease. Just the crease. Kind of blending it up a little bit. On the bottom lash line, just a little. Okay. So now I'm going to take um kind of like a little bit of a lighter chocolatey brown from my e.l.f. 144 palette and I'm just going to use that to kind of brighten up the brown color and make it so it's not so like you know dead and looks actually like I've tried to put some brown into this look and it's not just all dark colors and whatnot. Okay. Now I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. Cold Eyeliner Pencil and line my waterline. All that on, and then I'm going to take my um, Fabu liner eyeliner and line my top lash line. I'm trying to just get it really dark, but it's not really working. Oh well, the lashes will kind of cover it. And I'm taking the lashes, one pair of the lashes that I got from eBay, and um, I don't think have names or anything, so these are just the lashes that I got from eBay, The this style right here. And I'm just going to take these all apply them. Sorry, I'm just trying to take off the little end piece thing. Whatever. I'm being weird. Okay, so take the lash glue. Alright, I hate weeding 
for the lashes to get tacky. It's such a tedious process, but hopefully it's tacky enough and I can apply this without any hassles and get this video done with Okay, I'm trying to get them to stay. Okay, so I think that's about as good as I'm gonna let them get so I can continue with this video because my eyes are already freaking irritated and yeah. But I really love, I'm loving these lashes. Like, oh my god, I, <clears throat> as you saw in the other video, did I have the lashes on? I'm not sure. I can't remember if I had the lashes on. I didn't have the lashes on my eBay haul. But after my eBay haul, I put on, um, these lashes, as you can see, they're one pair is gone, and they just like completely just changed the whole look that I had on. But pretty much, this is the finished. Oh my gosh, this is the finished eye look, except for the fact that I forgot to fill in my eyebrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that really quickly with my uh, with the brown eyeliner pencil that I used before. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing! I was seriously about to just like put on my blush and the lip gloss and end this tutorial right here with an unfinished eyebrow. Oh, that would have been funny. That would have been one for the books. Okay, so like I thought I was doing good with time, but apparently I'm not. I mean, it's far better than some of the other times that I've done with videos, but alright, so this is the completed eye look. Um, everything is done, everything's blended, gorgeous, just gorgeous greens and just fabulous. Um, you can take the, the eyeliner and kind of line, you can't take the eyeliner and line above um, the lashes to kind of darken it a little bit since it really doesn't. I don't know if the color is finally running out because I've had this eyeliner for ages. Or if it's just because the eyeshadow that I put down is like messing up the, the brush. But there you go. You kind of get the gist of the look. Um, for the blush, I'm using my Blushing Pink Blush from LA Colors. And I'm just going to apply that before I mess up anything else in this tutorial. Uh, I forget or I don't know don't add it or something stupid like that and I'm just using one of the brushes from my uh, brush roll that I got from brush set so there we go that's the blush and for the lips I'm using my um, wet and wild sorry again wet and wild um, lipstick and I can't I don't know what the name of this is but this is 547B 7B and I'm gonna apply that uh, I have green I have green everywhere on my face I feel like <laughs> okay then on top of that I'm putting a little bit of my mix um, lip gloss and frosted beige which I've used a lot and I still love <laughs> okay so this is the completed look very nice um, emerald green eyes and sultry uh, lashes here and some nice nude lips and a kind of pink flush in the cheek 
Ew. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it was kind of weird. And um, I guess it just has been a weird day for me to try and even do makeup because my, my eyes weren't, no. Well, no, yeah, my eyes weren't just, yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely uh, I think the main eye turned out a little bit better than the tutorial eye. The tutorial eye has been through some things, so that's understandable. But I hope you guys like this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next tutorial, which is going to be the look from my eBay um, haul. Because I got a lot of compliments on it um, when, when I wore it to the cookout. So I think I'm going to do that at the tutorial, just don't know what I'm going to call it. So yeah, um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Ooh, it's a stop button. Stop button. Okay.